Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Tangram Vector. This is a really cool little button lock knife from Kaiser, and I would like to thank them for sending me these for review. They sent me a black one and a blue one, so I have two examples of kind of how the, this knife can be. Especially as far as quality control is concerned, it might be a little misleading because they probably sent me ones that were impeccably checked. But it is nice to have two examples of it just to uh, be able to compare that for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into what I like about it, what I'm neutral towards, and what I dislike. Alright, on to the size comparison. So here's the Tangram Vector and the Tangram Vector. You can see they come out to about the same size, same length, all that cool stuff. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some serious size comparisons. Um, let's go ahead and pull out the CRKT Pilar because these are a bit closer than I thought they would be. So the Tanger Vector is a fairly small knife, so is the Pilar. So I'll show you here what they look like when they're opened. The Vector has a lot more blade length than the Pilar does. I'm just taking pivot to pivot here. And a little bit more handle, but the Pilar does have that choil there that helps with ergonomics. Um, there aren't too many knives in this size range that are as ergonomic as the Pilar. Here it is against the ZT-0450CF. So you can see the 0450 is a little bit bigger. Not by much though. So it's it's kind of in a similar size range. The handle is quite a bit wider on the um, Tanger Vector though. So keep that in mind. And size so comparison next to a really big knife. Here it is next to the Kaiser Megatherium. I actually just heard there was going to be a Kaiser Gig Ethereum, and I don't know what the hell that's going to be, but I'm super hyped for it. So you can see these are nowhere close in terms of overall length. Um, closed handle length is, again, not really all that close. <laughs> this knife is just a lot, lot larger than the Vector is, but, you know, different strokes for different folks. All right, let's go ahead and get into what I like about it. All right, on to the like. So first thing up with these is gonna be the design. Um, there's a couple different colors you can get. You can get this kind of flat black or this really, really shiny blue, but they all have these kind of um, machined lines in them. That's on both sides. And the design's just kind of eye-catching, especially for the blue one. This blue one is very, very attention-grabbing. It is just as vibrant as it looks in this video. In real life, it's it's crazy. The the design's just it's it's interesting. The way they did the design as well, the ergonomics are nice. Every bit of these handles, the aluminum is rounded, and there's a bit of a finger groove here, and it works for me. I can get a good three finger grip. This last finger doesn't really have enough to grab onto, and I kind of wish there was some jumping back here. But overall, ergonomics are pretty good. So this is not a heavy use knife. Don't purchase this thinking it's going to be a heavy use knife. But for an everyday carry thing, the ergonomics are pretty good. The materials, I mentioned that the handle is aluminum. The steel is Japanese steel, I believe. It is uh, a Kudo 440. Now, I've tested the steel a decent bit, especially on this black one, you can see there's some uh, wear on it. It seems to hold up just fine to me. I'm not experiencing any issues. I will say, when you go to sharpen this, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Um, there's a sharpening choil, that's nice, but there is a recurve in the blade. You can kind of tell that. Personally, I, I don't mind recurves. It helps with the slicing quite a bit. And between the recurve and the flat grind on this knife, with a, you know, it's fairly high flat grind as well, it cuts really, really well. The blade stock's super duper thin, and it just it slices extremely, extremely well. The lock is one of the main selling points of this knife, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it is a button lock, which means to close it, you press this button in, and you close the knife. Now, once you've used the knife a decent bit, you can just kind of drop it shut and open it with button lock and close it with button lock. It's it's nice. I really, really like this lock mechanism. It makes it super, super simple for one-handed um, open and close. So you can open it with the thumb studs. You can open it nice and slow like I did there. You can flick it, and you can close it. The action... On this black one, I'll get to the blue one in a bit, the action on this black one is great. Um, I've used them about the same amount as far as carrying time. I've done more cutting with the black one, especially in the last couple of days. But well, the black one's nice and smooth for like a slower open. 
and the detent is really really nice for you know popping it out of there the detent is a bit softer on this black one it's right about where i like it honestly to where it's not killing my thumb but it gives me enough of a of a bite to be able to actually you know um have the blade fly out it, it's nice I won't really cover fit and finish too much because these were sent to me by Kaiser, but I will say that it's pretty good overall. There is no real misalignment or anything like that. There were no scrapes or scratches or anything when I got the knife. Um, the centering is, you know, pretty damn good on both of these. The, the fit and finish overall is really, really nice, and they feel fairly premium in hand. I'm going to be honest with you, these feel probably like $80 or $90 knives. So the, the price is pretty good. It's a, it's about $45. Now, I will say this is kind of in between good and neutral because, yeah, the price is $45. That's a great price. But there's a lot of competition in that price range. And I honestly don't know with these materials if they could get this any cheaper. But I think maybe $35 would be a, a much better, much more competitive price. That being said, though, even at $45, these are... This is very, very well made. And to have a name of a company that you can kind of trust at 45, it's not too bad, especially with all these companies coming out with very competitive knives in this price range. I think the price isn't ridiculous. I think it's pretty good for the materials, but it's right there on the verge of being neutral just because of the, uh, the competition in the area. Um, last couple things here on the like list. Uh, number one, the colors that they have. They only have it in this black or this blue, but it's nice because if I lay them down on a table, you can see the black is much stealthier, much, much less noticeable. The blue has a much more vibrant pop to it. So whether you like something a bit more low-key or something a bit more blingy, you can kind of pick. Now, again, these are the only two colors they have, but they went the kind of opposite ends of the spectrum here, I think, and I think they did a good job with the selection. Last thing on the like list is the packaging. You can go check that out in the unboxing video I did of these. But it's just nice to have decent packaging, especially in this price range. On to the neutral. So the price, I talked about it in the good. Again, it's just the competition in this area kind of takes it into an eh kind of range. So just, I don't know. I kind of wish they'd drop it a little bit, but the materials are pretty good, so I'm not going to complain too much. The only thing that I'm really not... A super huge fan of is the clip on here I think the design fits in okay but it's it's fairly stiff there's a ton of ramp on this thing and it's I, I don't mind the size I kind of like the size of it but the way it sits in your pocket if you have it flat it's gonna kind of try to sit at this angle now your pocket obviously tapers so it's gonna sit something it won't sit exactly straight it'll sit kind of like this but it's a pretty severe taper and I kind of wish they had turned the clip just a little bit this way and made it a little bit more springy. Um, it isn't deep carry or anything like that, but to be honest, there's only really like that much of the knife sticking up out of your pocket. So it's, it's pretty deep carry. That's just enough for you to grab onto and pull it out. I, I honestly, I like the depth of the clip. I'm just not a huge fan of the actual utility of the clip design wise and carry wise. It's okay, but getting it into your pocket can be a bit of a, bit of a bug and then when you go near anything this this enormous amount of ramp coming off this clip just might scratch it especially on cars and stuff you need to be careful on to the dislike so there's a couple things here i'm going to use the blue one for this example because this is one i dislike the least ironically enough i prefer the look of the blue one this one is much more my alley i like that kind of bright vibrant design the eye-catching design but the detent on here is much harder than the black one and the action isn't nearly as good so it opens up just fine but it takes a bit more effort to get there and that combined with my next point makes this knife in particular not super fun to play with really like playing with the black one i tried to carry this one and fiddle with it as much as possible to get it to smooth out a little bit wasn't quite as successful as I would have liked. Now, don't get me wrong, you can still open and close it with that. Of course, the second I do it, you can still open and close it with that button lock. But the slow opening is not nearly as pleasant. It's a, it, it doesn't feel gritty, 
but it, it doesn't have that same smoothness as the you know the black one does it isn't quite as drop shutty it's it's still pretty pretty close though because of that button lock and like I said the detent is just a little rough but the biggest thing for me and this is on the black one too these thumb studs are super super sharp now a lot of knives in this price range to hide machining imperfections and things like that are stone washed you can see this is not this is just a satin blade and they did a really good job with these um, the satin blade is really really nice I prefer a satin blade finish on mine most of the time and the this one at least still hasn't picked up any scratches or anything like that so that's nice but when they stone wash those the thumb studs get knocked down these are very sharp now I will say that does help you get a good grip on the thumb stud itself so if you're using gloves or something like that great but I wouldn't be using an aluminum handle knife and gloves anyway especially when it's slick as this so I'm not sure why they made the thumb studs so sharp or if they just didn't think about it um, they're not like gonna rip your finger open but I just wish they were knocked down a little bit it's it's easily my least favorite thing about this knife it just makes deploying it not nearly as pleasant as it should be and I usually find myself going with a black one just because they don't bite in quite as much when I do get to open it it's just a bit more you know pleasant to use and to fiddle with on to the conclusion okay so these knives are great sub $50 really good materials interesting locking mechanism great action on at least one of them pretty good action on the other but still kind of eh. so do I recommend purchasing these knives if this is exactly what you're looking for yes but I've got to say there's a lot of competition in this price range and especially nowadays that $45 like, yeah, there's still, you know, there's still Kershaw's and CRKT's coming in at that price with 8 CR13 MOV and FRN handles. And this is better than those. It just is. I, I really, really like this knife. But there are also other knives in competition, specifically from, like, Civivi. And it's just, I don't know if this is how the steel's holding up, but G10, it's a flipper. <sighs> that's what more people are going to go towards personally i honestly i really like this this is pretty good you know i have a few complaints like i mentioned but overall i think it's a really really good knife i wish they would drop the price some so if this is the knife you're looking for if everything i just went through fits your bill perfectly or pretty close to it go pick it up i honestly don't think you'd regret it either way but for that $45, you're right at that $50 range, and competition is very stiff at that $50 range, and you can get a lot of really, really good knives. Maybe not as well designed as this, maybe with, you know, G10 instead of aluminum handles, but that comes down to preference. I prefer aluminum, but it's just me. It's just... I, I feel like the price could be a bit more compelling if it were a little bit lower. And I think they would have a much better shot at moving these if it were a little bit lower as well. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, checking this video out. Huge thank you to Kaiser for loaning me these for review. I was really, really excited to check these out. And I'm pretty impressed with the knives I've experienced from the Tanger line so far. So keep up the good work, guys. And if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe, check out my other stuff. And I will have a review of the Kaiser Megatherium coming up very, very soon within the next couple of days. So keep an eye out on that one, and have a good day. Thanks, guys. Bye.